Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. We are back to doing a league. We're going to break this up into two episodes. So we're going to do the first half of the league today and then the second half on Friday. So if you want to check out the rest of the league, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, Friday will be the end result of the league. I'll split it up how I see if we got fast games. I'll put those together and then, uh, you know, longer games or whatever. You know, we'll do the first couple matches today and then the rest of them on Friday. So uh, really quick, since we're doing a league, I just want to go over the deck really quick that we're going to be using. Nothing's changed since the last update video, but if I got anybody new watching, uh, this is what we're running right here. We got the four plated, four sidewinder, two sentinels, two, uh, four sinews, striking, a heart, and a hunter sliver for our red splash. Viverlance full playset, gem high full playset, muscle, and predatory full playset. We got three lead the stampedes, four winding ways, one ash baron to fetch for our one mountain. We got eight forests, seven plains, and then we've got our nice thriving land additions. Thriving Heath, one of them, and Thriving Grove, two of them. These things have been excellent, and hopefully you guys can't hear the rain, and rain it's storming outside right now. As far as sideboard, um, we'll see how, how this goes now that we've had those recent bannings with the Mystic Sanctuary and the Expedition map. I still think we're going to see some Tron, so uh, I'm just keeping the sideboard as is. We're going to run it, we're going to test it and see how it is. Two Swift Response, two Prismatics, two Pyroblasts, two Bladebacks, two Flarings two Gleeful Sabotages, two Relics, and one Spinneret that will switch out mainly for our Sentinel if we need to bring in some, some help against some Flyers. Uh, so that is the deck. Let's go find ourselves a match. All right, game one. We lost the die roll, uh, but we've got, oh my gosh, a bunch of refill. I don't think I like this hand. I mean, I could go turn two into a Winding Way and start refilling, but... I think we want to be doing other things. I don't. I don't want to start with just a bunch of refill. That seems really slow, and just one gem hide. I'm gonna mulligan this. It could be keepable. There, I could. I guess I could see an argument for keeping it, uh, since we can refill the hand. But like, I. I want something to play. Like, if we had another creature that we could start at least comboing with gem hide a little bit more, I think that'd be better. Um, all right, but this is, this is keepable. Keep this. And I think we'll just go ahead and get rid of our forest. Yeah, we'll get rid of our forest. Keep the creatures, keep the winding. We'll go turn one thriving grove. We're up against blue, uh, which isn't great since we've got a slower start. Now they'll be able to hold up some counter magic for us. Is blue still a thing with Mystic Sanctuary Band? Yes, it'll still be a thing. It'll always be a thing. All right, we get another land. So now I'm kind of tempted just to run out the lands just to start getting stuff down. I think I'm gonna do that. I just wanna get under counter spells as much as po possible. And we'll put out a Thriving Grove when necessary for our Splash of Red. We don't need it yet, so. Bring the volume down a little bit. Hopefully that's a good volume. I never know. I'll, <laughs> my wife uses this computer too, so like the audio gets switched every week when I go to record, so I gotta like try to re-figure out what the appropriate volume is. Attacking with Fairy Seer, holding up Counterspell. Alright, fair enough. Ooh, a Heart Sliver. That's cool. Alright, so... Let's go to Attack. We're going to play our Thriving Grove, Splash the Red, and Heart Sliver will be pretty nice. Say Red, go. Just want them to tap out a little bit, then we can go off. Spell Stutter, see? Look at that. They just played that for no value. No counter even. Uh, they must have more in hand. That's my guess. All right, we gotta watch out for more of these in hand. I have um, I have a good feeling about Sliver's position now with the recent bannings. I think it will slow down some of the combos and stuff to help aggro out a little bit more. And we did see Sliver's just place in one of the tournaments a few weeks ago. 
So, I'm looking forward to seeing how we run here. Okay. Ninjutsu. Yep. They cranking, but... I think we'll be able to do some work here. The man is a little awkward. I'm kind of considering just putting down Heart into Sidewinder. Hmm. But Sentinel can block... Yeah, no, we're going to do Sentinel. We're going to do Sentinel. What am I talking about? It's just too bad I can't... So I have to play Sentinel. I have to play the planes. And then there's nothing else I can really do. It's a bit unfortunate. Ah. Yeah, I think this is still our best bet. Because I want to be able to block Ninja. Or at least threaten to block Ninja. Chump and trade, chump and trade. Yep, pass. We got four mana now, though, so we can start doing double spells at least. Um... That's not cool, man. Piracy charm? Fine. I will block this ninja, though. Like, snap block it. I don't care. Don't like use, uh, losing the sentinel, but... You gotta get the ninjas off the board. There's a delver. Alright. There's a winding way. I think I just want to try to double winding way here, get a refill. They'll counter one, we can do the other. As long as they don't force spike me or something crazy. Do they really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, well that's... They had it. They had it, they had it. One card in hand, though. Uh, but that is pretty brutal. That is pretty brutal, I must say. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna go to game two, especially if this flips right now. It does not. So you're saying there's a chance. Fairy Miscreant, they get to draw a card. If they have another one of those. Alright, so they're just setting up with their, their flyers. This is why we got the spinneret in the sideboard. And our pyroblasts. One card in hand. Okay. Let's get out our board. Got a counter for this? That's yeah, a heart sliver. We got haste now. And flanking. Alright. They were sitting on it. They were waiting. Alright, this is fine though. We just need to start replenishing here. But we are dead very soon. I'm gonna fight till the end since they're... Then, you know, when they go empty-handed, slivers can come back. So I'm not gonna say we're dead yet. But we are on a three-turn clock. And we don't have any way to block these until we sideboard. And they have a ninja. So we're taking five. Okay. Draw a card. Uh, well, we'll try it. <laughs> I have my doubts. <laughs> All right, we're just going to we're going to go to the next game here. Let's sideboard. Spinneret's coming in. We drop one Sentinel for that. We bring in Pyroblast. We drop one Winding Way. Um Do we want anything else? Uh 
Hunter Heart striking are all decent. I guess I don't need the striking since all their guys are one toughness for the most part. I could cut striking. Sorry if I'm a little I'm a looking a little white today. Uh, I had to reset up my my lighting again because um, of the storm and stuff. It was just a little too dark in here, but at least I'm not going bright red yet. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do I need anything else here? Swift response w response. When do we bring you in, huh? Against other aggro and that's not blue because we can do stuff with pyroblast. Yeah, I'm not worried about killing any of your things when we got a pyroblast that can kill it. Um, all right. Yeah, let's run it back. They had the nuts. They had a good hand. They had that force spike. So you never know. Some people run it, some people don't. And you just never know if they're going to have it or not. I had to try the refill, though. I don't know. Maybe it was a misplay. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Is that the right play? I think they just had the nuts hand. I'm going to try to be quiet and see if you can hear the rain. Hmm. I don't know if you can. Yes, we will play first. Let's get that advantageousness. Um, I will keep this. Uh, we just need to find our mana fixing. But we do have a winding way that we should be able to get out. And I am going to do that right away. I'm going to play a Viverlint. Yeah, we're going to play Viverlint, and then turn two, we'll play a Winding Way, straight away. Let's just get the hand filled up. Go. Turn one, Ponder. No Delver. Nothing? Oh, gosh. All right, they got the Force Spike. Maybe I'm not going to do this now. Rick. Rick. That four spike, man. Alright, I'll just get down to Sidewinder. That is annoying. I don't want to play into a four spike on this winding way, though. I want this refill. I want to find some lords. So I'll be leaving timestamps uh, in the video as well in the in the description. So if you need to jump to or want to jump to another match, there will be timestamps in the description. I can't talk. I'm slurring all my words. Our miscreants holding up four spike again, and now we can at least play around it. Okay, that's good. I'm still gonna do this. Creature. That's cool. All right. Let's see if they want to force spike another Sidewinder. Sure. Go ahead. Just get it out of your hand. Yep. Nope. Uh, did I hit no? No. Come on. There we go. All right. We can attack in. Keep getting the, keep getting the poisonous. Wasn't the world's best winding way. What do we, we just hit two creatures. It is what it is. Now we'll just slow down. We'll uh, play around the counter spells as best we can. If they like ninjutsu here, I'm fine with that. It's not ideal, but at least I can get down a lord and a plated, and then we have a really good board. I don't think they'll be tempted to do it quite yet since they got so many cards. But maybe. We don't know their hand. Or they'll just pass with the counter spell. Might as well attack in. You can't block me. There it is. All right, beautiful. We're getting down a board now. And we can block this thing. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Ooh, it's nasty. So many plated. 
Go, my little creatures. Go, fly. Ninja can't attack now. We'll always hold up a blocker for ninja at this point. They're at 13. We really don't have to play much else. We can run away with the game from here. Ooh, did you hear that thunder? I wanted to cut my grass today, too. I'm not going to be able to. What are you tapping for three mana? What do you have that's three mana right now? Oh, that's annoying. Well, we can attack into it still, but this guy's annoying as heck. Tapping out. Thriving Grove. I like ye, I like ye. Alright, plated. Plated. Attack. Swing. Can't kill us, we can kill you. Flanking is a bit. Poisonous, poisonous. Pass the turn. Reordain. Gotta find those answers. Alright, let's finish this up in game three. I think I like how we sideboarded. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna run it back here. Don't think we need to do anything else. Part of me really wants to bring in a second spinneret. I just think it's better to switch the two for two. Two spinnerets for the two sentinels against this matchup. I just don't know what would be the appropriate thing to to cut. Maybe, maybe I just cut the swift response. I really want to play with it, but maybe we, Slivers just doesn't need it, and we cut it completely, and then we add a second spinneret, and a, th a third copy of something else. I think I'd like to go up on three on another co um, copy of something. Not Pyroblast. I don't think we need three on Pyroblast. Unless blue is still going to be really heavy. Maybe it is. I used to run three. Alright, we are on the draw. With a good hand, if we can get it rolling. So, we will keep and we will pray. <laughs> It's, it, you don't want to toss this hand back, but we uh, are still a little slow. Grabbing a one drop here would be nice. Okay. All right. At least that's a nice turn one play. Say red. Say go. Our mana is correct. Do not flip this Delver right now. I'm going to be so sad. Thank you. You gonna start the ninja game? Alright, we get to put down something. Gotta love the ninja game. Sidewinder. Uh, I'm just gonna get down a lord. For now. Gemhide's not gonna be that useful unless we have at least some other creatures to start popping off with, so let's just set up. We can threaten to block the ninja. Which I don't like blocking with a lord, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Replay their Delver here. After combat. Ooh, smart man, smart man. Do I let him draw or do I just kill this thing? I think I just kill it, right? There's just no guarantee that I can get down another... Alright, let me think about this. If I don't block, they draw another card. They're definitely holding up Counterspell. They're definitely playing Delver and a turn. Our turn, we try to get down a 2-drop, and then we can get down a Sidewinder, and then we can block Ninja effectively. 
Okay. I'll get I'll let him have one draw. One draw. I don't I, I don't want to just throw away my lords here. Fairy Miscreant. Not replaying the Delver. Alright. I will. Our mana's right, and we have plenty of mana, so I'm gonna try to toss this gem hide into a counter spell and then play my sidewinder, like we were talking. Everything changes. We're thinking about it. They like countering these. Okay. All right. So I'll attack in with the muscle here once we get down Sidewinder, and then I will just chump block with the Sidewinder on the ninja. Because I, I, like I said, I, I don't want to throw away the Lord, I'd rather throw away a Sidewinder here. Just do it, man. Just do it. Come on. They disconnect. They didn't disconnect yet. We're just waiting on that counter spell. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, really? Oh. <laughs> Spell stutter sprite. Fair play, fair play. All right. Sidewinder. Let's get in for a bit of damage. And we will chump block that ninja. No land drop. I don't want to see four mana here. So I want to be able to at least play one more of my lords next turn. Because then we can really start racing. I bet you they have another ninja here. And they're perfectly fine with this trade. Nope. Alright. Good. Ponder. Can you imagine? They would be playing Mystic Sanctuaries here, just grabbing Ponders back, Counterspells back. They did find their fourth land. And they're going to play their Delver now. Still got them sitting in there. Alright, yep, there you go. Trying to get a clock in the air. Thriving Heath. We're not going to play that yet. Just gonna be racing if I can get this other lord down. Just gonna have two three threes out. Spell stutter, sure. Let's keep it an even game, shall we? Okay. 
I just don't want to flip here on Delver, but there probably will be one. Because I set up with it with Ponder. So now I'm taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the air. No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sorry. 6 in the air. We're hitting for 6, so they're winning this race. And we can't block, so we just got to keep swinging too. Oh. Alright, we're dead. We need a spinneret. Okay. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's not going to resolve, I can tell you that right now. I mean, we're dead anyway, so we got to go for it. Shouldn't have tapped both these planes. They let it through. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're just dead. That sucks. We're going to make them do it, though. Maybe they don't attack. Maybe they skip through. Doubt it, though. They know they have the game, so they probably had a counterspell or something, and they're just like, whatever. It's a bit unfortunate. Uh, Mono Blue is a hard matchup for us, so it's kind of sucky that this was the first game. But they, they got there. They got there. We did our best. I don't know if we could have played that any differently, but uh, it was close. Good game. All right. Uh, we will see you guys in game number two. All right, we're back in game two. We once again lost the die roll uh, against Zimmy T. Zimmy T and our hand looks pretty dang good, so we will keep. Two Lords, Gem Hide, and a Hunter. Man is right already. Let's do it. Don't be blue, Zimmy. All right, green. Are we just going to get whomped on here by elves? Oh, no. Okay. Well, this is a matchup for Swift Response. It's a good matchup for Swift Response. All right, we don't get the turn one play, so we're just going to do Thriving Heath. Name red. Pass the turn. Start playing out some lords. And then drop a gem hide. Hopefully get some refill. Fingers crossed. Zimmy, you just got to pass through to your turn, bud. There you go. So this is kind of a... Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this, first of all. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, doing the, the leagues again. And I'm hoping to start doing this more regularly, doing this like a league, splitting up into two videos. It seems to work pretty well. And then I can have uh, other content out the rest of the week as well. They're going to get in there for one. No other one drop, which is not bad, actually. Um, all right. Yep. Let's go ahead and get down our Lord. Pass. They're going to have a ton of mana next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. This is elves. <laughs> it's so nasty. Leave the stampede. I don't like this artwork. I like the original artwork better. Nice is cool and all, but I like the original. Usually I like the updated artwork, but I'm not a fan of that one. They got all the man in the world. They just free filled their hand. They got Aquarian Ranger. That's awesome. So they can untap Priest. Tap more there. Alright, what am I doing here? I'm just passing through turn. That's what I need to be doing. Yep, untap the priest, return a forest. Tap it again, five mana up. Another priest. Ooh, okay. Another priest. Okay, well, as long as they don't have any more refills, maybe we'll be okay. Because they gotta dig to try to find their... There are other guys. All right, we get a planes. I think I'm just gonna. I can go gem hide. 
into two creatures. Sure, let's do that. And then next turn, if we can survive next turn, we're going to drop Hunter and start clearing their board a little bit. That's the only saving grace about this hand against this matchup is Hunter is pretty good. Uh, let's do Sidewinders, just a massacre for them. So we'll get that down. Yeah, and then we'll do the plated. I lost my train of thought for a second, so... It's like, wait, what are we doing? Plated. We got a bunch of two threes with flanking. Next turn, Hunter's getting dropped. And again, we just... They got all the mana in the world, so we just gotta hope they can't keep refilling their hand. They didn't have a winding way, they would have played it last turn. They had two mana and they passed. Land... All right, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble. Oh, they only hit Elvish Vanguard. I mean, that's still a good card for them, but like, holy cow. That was a bad lead, the Stampede. Yup, sure, put him down. So we are going to get rid of all their priests. <laughs> yes, I like this. Okay. It'd be awesome if we had found, like, a... Our haste guy, too. That'd be nasty. Go hunter into haste. Ooh, alright. It's time to start doing work. They're still gonna have some mana. I think it's important to kill the vanguard now and kill as many priests as possible. So that's what we're gonna do. Ooh. Why are we stopping here, Zimmy? Okay, there we go. All right. Bladed. Priest. Priest. And... Kyrian's actually a good target, too. That way they can't untap their priests anymore. Yeah, let's do that. We'll kill their Kyrian. We'll say yes to all. We're just eliminating the board here. We got very lucky that their lead the stampede was bad. They got one card in hand. They didn't play it, so... Tapping for blue. Distant Melody? For ginormousness? They can tap for so much mana because we're untapping everybody. <laughs> That's funny. Look at that. 18 mana. It's ridiculous. Okay. They were just tapping for fun. Tapping the flashy mana for fun. Hopefully I'm targeting the right things. I think I am. I think getting Priests off and Kyrian Ranger off and obviously the Elvish Vanguard can get out of control if they can start refilling their hands. So we might as well just get him out of here now before he can get out of range. That's all there is to it. We'll let them do their blocks. Another priest and your Kyrian, please. Elves isn't they're prominent, right? I don't know if it's necessary to bring in like another hunter into our sideboard for matches matchups like this, but yeah. We are gonna try out swift response though. It's the first time we can finally sideboard into that card. These guys are just dying before they can do anything. Look at how much mana they're going to tap. Just one of these taps for eight. 
Insane. So I don't know what they're sitting on in their hand. Maybe it's a forest? Alright. Take your turn. Hunter's just gonna keep wiping your board. I think it was a forest. Because I might have returned it. I should have been keeping an eye on that. Equip creature has tapped this damn da deals one damage to any target. Sure, I don't care about that. Let's see, equip three. Yeah, I could I could care less about that. Alright, so we win. We're gonna elim their whole board and then we'll start swinging in. Yep. They know it. Sideboards. Spinneret, no. Prismatic, yes. Switch response, yes. Cut a winding. I want Sentinel. Sentinels should be good in this matchup. Sidewinder's good in this matchup. They have a pretty big board pretty fast, so maybe Viverlint is less important. Maybe we can cut a gem hide. Striking. We can get rid of striking, I think. So we cut some creatures. We got 30 creatures. We cut one winding way. We brought in prismatic strands and the swift response. Sure. Beautiful hand. I love it. Yeah. No sideboard tech, but I can't toss these hands back. Curian off the bat. This is beautiful reprint artwork. Love that Curian Ranger. It's only for MTGO, though. This is really a bummer. Get the Viverlint down. Uh, we are going to hope for a third land drop. I think that would be ideal. So third land drop, Lord and Plated. And then the turn after we'll go gem hide into refill, into Lord, into whatever we want. So they can tap for one more mana here. Yep, and they're gonna. Elvish Vanguard. Alright. He's gonna get big. They got three cards in hand. Alright, well we're getting more lords. Uh, which, I'm fine with it. Let's play lords... Next turn, we will play Gem Hide into like another Lord. We may take a big hit from Elvish Vanguard. We'll see. Tap it for white. That's a problem. We need to x him real fast. Tap in, yep. It's a counter. And then they're going to play uh, Rangers. Okay. He becomes a 3-3. Three, three. 
We're gonna take a big hit, I think. I think, since we're gonna get a hit from these guys, can't really block efficiently right now. I think we're just gonna set up by playing out a bigger board. Try to go wide. I mean, we can chump block that if we need to. And we'll see how much they're swinging for next turn, depending on what they have in their hand. I think this is our best bet, though, to just kind of get ahead of them a little bit. Okay, what can you do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So he can hit me for ten right now. It's not pretty. Gonna be taking a lot. All right. I think I'm gonna block these three. If they wanna kill one of my creatures, cool. If not, they can pump hit me for 10, but then we still have a board and we take out a few of the creatures. So it's gonna be left up to them how they want to block. But we're just gonna do like this, maybe entice them with 10 damage, because that is a lot. Or they can pump one thing. Can they pump two things? Yeah, they can pump two things, actually. I forgot about that. So they can untap, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I forgot they could untap with that. That's okay, though. I think this is still the best way to mitigate... The m oh, no, they can just... Right. Yeah, that also makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they almost have us one shot here. All right, but we kill a lot of their creatures. We have a Sidewinder. Of all the mana in the world. Do we leave the Stampede to find a Hunter? I think we leave the Stampede to try to find a Hunter here. Heart? Interesting as well. Not really what we needed. Cancel. Alright, so let me see here. We have three cards in hand. We're gonna have to chump block the Vanguard at this point now. means we're going to lose a lord if we put down another lord. Or we can just put down a sidewinder, have three blockers up. I think that's the best bet. Uh, let's do it with him. All right. This is still a little sketch, so... Another Curian would be bad. I think it was a mistake to attack in with their Curian Ranger, honestly. So it becomes a 5-5. Five, five. They can pump them for 4. Do not refill on me here. Okay, that's fine. And another Timber Watch. Okay. That's problematic. No attack. Because they know I can just chump block. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Who am I not blocking with here? Probably just one of you. Let's just get everybody down. All slivers have haste. So I can actually attack for quite a bit. How much would they actually have to block to survive, though? 4, 5, 8, 16, 20, 4. So I gotta block 5 things not to die. Yeah, we just gotta pass still. Can't do any of that yet. They're empty handed, we're empty handed. We're both hellbent. But now we have a problematic situation with these double timber watch, double elvish vanguards. Nonsense. Give them a forest. Be dirty about it. Or a mana dork. Just nothing important. They're getting in. We're just gonna block with Sidewinder. Do they have Trample? Do they have a way to give this guy Trample? Okay. Well, let's relook at this here. Now we got a bunch of five fives. They can only block five of them, and then we kill them. Sounds good. Unless they have some kind of play, we just kill them here. So that Lord was pretty clutch. One, two, three, four, five. They block all, they take 20. I don't know what other plays they could have with one card in hand. But I think we just beat elves, which I'm pretty sure that's my first time ever beating elves with slivers. Pretty sure. I don't see, uh, I can't remember a time of beating elves with slivers. <laughs> yep. Let them do it out. Okay. Bam. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. On to game three. All right. Welcome back to game number three. We are going to keep this hand. A lot of refill, but this is like uh, game one. We had a very similar hand. We had three refills and a gem hide, but a third land. And now the difference is uh, we don't have a third land. We have a Viverland. And this is much more keepable because of that. We can go turn on Vivlerant, turn two, gem hide, and then start popping off with our refills. And we've at least got some mana to start filling the board that way. So this is a good example of a hand to keep with the three refills and which ones you should toss back when you got this many refills in hand. And we're up against... Ah. Uh, Stompy. We can handle some Stompy. Hopefully. We're, we're getting all the good aggro right now. Everybody's wanting to play aggro after these bannings, I'm sure. Aggro has a, a really good chance in leagues now. Uh, so, yeah. No attack, though. Ooh, they're stuck in a... Ooh, they have a one-land hand. They got a one-land hand. That's nice, that's nice. Um, yeah, let's... I wish we could just... Winding way... Third land, then we have two men. Yeah. Well, let's see. No, we'll probably have to discard if we do that. Now nah, we'll just play the gem hide for now. Uh, they're stuck on one land, so that gives us a few turns to kind of get rolling a little bit. I'm not going to attack into Young Wolf. 
Not yet. Not yet. Ugh. Oh, you dirty boy. Savage Swipe is a good card. And now they get a 2-2. I get to... Oh, they didn't attack in, though. That's interesting. Thriving Grove. Red. Our mana's right still, so screw you. Let's go ahead and be mana efficient. Play this. Alright, we get some good draws. That's good. We're doing stuff, but they're stuck on one land. Uh-oh. All right, they're getting in. I'll take it. Kyrian. All right. That'll help them. That'll help them a little bit. They can tap mana, replay the forest, play some two drops now. Smart play. I like it. Okay. Are they going to try to Savage Swipe some more stuff? That's the question. I could go... So that's a Sorcery. They do play with Mutagenics. I think we're just going to play Sentinel here and our Hunter. We're going to wait to play our Lord just in case we're holding on to more Savage Swipes. Pass. I don't want my Lord just dying needlessly right now. I kind of want to get a good board and then drop a bunch of stuff on our turn. Yep, so now they can start playing some two drops. Burning tree is a good start for them. Burning tree into burning tree. <laughs> into nest invader. Alright. So they got some they got some mana now. They got a board. Good for them. Uh, I'll take the two. Thriving, let's do this and what's winding way. Try to find some nastiness. Alright, plated is fine. Actually, let's see here. How can I decimate their board most efficiently? Uh, I can Put down a flanking, they'll all become one ones, and then put down a sinew. Just make them block with all of these. Actually, I want to get that Kyrian off. Or, we put down plated, and they become Two threes. Two threes. Two threes. Clock, clock, clock. They can... Um, hmm. I think plated's better here. So we're going to do that. We're going to go provoke some stuff, including their Kyrian Ranger, so we can cut them off of mana a little bit. Alright, uh, we are going to provoke you. Provoke you. Provoke you do anything else? No, uh, we'll still... Let's see, can, what are their other plays with that? I guess we'll just do here. They'll be able to trade with Hunter. They'll be able to get the Hunter off the board, but I think stopping them from using mana here is worth losing a, a Hunter over because they may want to double block this Hunter and kill it. 
Which if they do, so be it. And now we'll see if they have any mutagenic growths in their hands. Yeah, they can replay Young Wolf, so we'll trade some creatures. But now, even if they draw land next turn, like, they're still going to be set back because they just replayed that to their hand, so. Alright, we're doing this one first. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're going to lose our Sentinel and our Hunter. But now we're going we're gonna to have a Sinew and a Sidewinder next turn. I'm okay with this. Okay. Still got a lot of cards in hand. But now they're hopefully stuck on one mana as well. Yeah! Alright. Good. Another Winding Way. I like starting with that just in case we get into a gem mind. We can have like maximum mana. Okay. Nice. I like all of this right now. Uh, striking is really good. So we could just put on a striking, a sidewinder, and a lord. Yeah. Striking. Sidewinder. And we sideboard. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, keeping them on that one land hand. That was good. All right. Um, Swift Response and Prismatic. We're doing this the same way we did Elves. But is there anything else? No, I don't think so. I like Striking in this matchup. I like Hunter in this matchup. Maybe Heart isn't as necessary. Although he did help us win our matchup against Elves. Cut a Winding. Cut a Viverlint because chances are we're not going to be getting in too hard with those. We'll cut the... Uh, I want to keep the heart in, man. We'll cut a Gem Hide. Maybe we just do one Prismatic. So I think we can handle this deck. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just do one Prismatic. I don't really want to cut anything else. Maybe I could cut another Viverlint, but let's see how this goes. Uh, this is fine still, even though it's a Thriving Grown, we, we're going to name white, just in case. And then we'll have a gem hide. So, I'm cool with this. Curian off the bats. All right. Another gem hide. If we can get the gem hide sentinel combo going here, that'd be beautiful. We are a little bit behind though. Tap, untap, replay, tap, play outs, burning, yep, into another burning, alright, they're getting a better start this turn at least, into Nest Invader, alright, that's cool, two cards in hand, hmm, Let's just get out a, 
a measly gem hide. Uh, next turn we can go maybe double lord if we draw a land, or we can go sentinel into plated, something like that. Uh, we're just having we're just a little bit slower right now, but they did empty their hand pretty fast, so we're still gonna be taking a good amount. <laughs> That's rough. Uh, they have a ledge walker. Yikes. Oh boy. I don't like taking nine. Maybe I block this. All right, what if I block that? I block this, I still take eight. I kill this Rancor, goes back to hand. And then we're still dealing with a Rancor. I'm just gonna take the nine. Not sure what's best there. Didn't get a land, pretty unfortunate. I think I'm just gonna go Lord into a plated and we're gonna have to chump lock a little bit. We're in a better position to chump lock though. I will take four. If they can't kill gem hide. Okay. They are going wide. Still empty handed though. I think I just want to get. Do I just die now? I block three. I take... Not dead yet. It might be very close. <laughs> Depending on what they top deck here. They're just gonna swing like that. Then I am going to block here. I guess I'll just double block just in case. They have a mutagenic. Maybe they want this to die so they can just play it on something else. So now they can play it on now they can play it on the ledge walker, actually. It is what it is though. I mean I, I don't There's nothing I can do about it. What if I, I let that go through and I take four? Take four. I'm trying to think, like, what, what if I don't block there? And let it stay on the Kyrian Ranger, you know? What happens there? We need a hunter ASAP. That's not a hunter. It's not a hunter. Get in there a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, try block that. Okay. Not dead yet. <laughs> and now their life is pretty low. So they can hit us for three, we go to two, unless they just find a mutagenic or something, then we die. There's nothing we can do about that. They can reset him, but I kind of want them to reset him because I want him to like have to jump block. Burning tree is fine. Yep, so they can block five things. We still have another lord in hand. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I mean, I know the writing was semi on the wall. Did they have a chance? I, I know we couldn't kill them this turn, but we would have had to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see this here, because I don't think they were dead yet. They might have been able to do something. They had to block a lot, I know that. So we were forcing blocks on, like, pretty much everything. They would have had to block... Or did we just win because of this? Alright, so let's see. We play a lord, everything goes to a five. They have to block everything. Everything except one, they take five, they go to three. I can see it. I can see it. All right, cool. Model Green Stompy is down. Very nice. Uh, yeah, that is game three. So stay tuned for game four. All right, that's going to do it for this part of the league, part one. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like and comment below if you're enjoying. And subscribe because Friday we're going to be finishing up the rest of the league, part two. So stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys in that video.